In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this puff stitch face scrubby. And for this, I'm using cotton yarn. This is a variegated yarn, but you could use a solid color. We're also going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook. And then you'll also need your scissors and your yarn needle and a stitch marker. To begin round one, we're going to make a magic circle. So wrap that yarn around your fingers, reach in, grab your yarn, bring up a loop, place your finger on that loop so you can keep it in place, drop your working yarn or drop your tail and grab your working yarn. If you can situate your fingers inside that ring and then chain one to secure. Now we're going to do six puff stitches. So we're gonna yarn over, go inside that ring, bring up a loop. There's one, yarn over, go in, grab your yarn, bring up a loop, that's two. And one more time, yarn over, go in, bring up your loop, and that's three. So at this point, you should have seven loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through all of those loops. Once you've made it all the way through the loops, you'll chain one to finish your puff. And now we're going to make six of those in total. So there's one. We'll do another one here. Yarn over, bring it up, yarn over. And that's three. Pull through all of those loops and chain one. Yarn over, there's one, two, and three, and bring through all the loops. And you'll continue to do this until you have made six of these puff stitches. Remembering to do your chain one once you've pulled through all of your loops. And here we have six of the puff stitches. Right now I'm gonna drop my working yarn and grab that tail. And go ahead and give that a pull. That's gonna tighten up that center circle. You can pull it tighter later on after you have finished. And we're ready to begin round two. So we're going to come over here to this stitch at the top of this first puff and do a slip stitch. And now you'll chain one and we're going to do a puff stitch at the top of each of the puff stitches from the previous row round and in between each puff stitch. So we're gonna go right back into that same stitch that you did your slip stitch. Yarn over, bring up your loop, there's one. Yarn over, there's two, and three. And we're gonna pull through all of those loops and chain one. Now we'll move to the space, the chain space between the puffs and do another one. Here's one, two, and three. Pull through all of those loops and chain one. And you'll continue to do this all the way around. So moving on to this stitch at the top of the next puff, yarn over, bring up your loop, there's one two and three, pull through all your loops, chain one. And then in the chain space, do another one. One, two and three, pull through, chain one. And you'll continue to do this all the way until you've reached the end of your round and you should end up with 12 of these puffs 
for this round. And here I've come to the end of my round. I've got 12 puffs on here. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the stitch at the top of the puff and chain one. Now we're ready to begin round three, which will be exactly the same as round two. So we're going to do one puff stitch at the stitch at the top of the previous puff stitch and one in between. So yarn over, going back into that same stitch that you did your slip stitch in. There's one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all of your loops, and chain one. Move to the chain space, yarn over. There's one, two, and three, pull through all your loops, chain one, and now we're at the stitch at the top of this puff. So here's one, two, and three, and you will just keep on doing this until you have reached the end of your round. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 of these puffs. And here I've come to the end of round three. I have 24 of these puff stitches going all the way around. Now we're going to slip stitch into the stitch at the top of this puff. And this is where I like to use my stitch marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my stitch marker on here. I'm gonna chain one. And then for this round, we're going to do, starting in this chain one space, we're going to do one single crochet in the chain one space and in the stitch at the top of each puff. So just single crochet right into that chain one space, and then single crochet into the top of that puff, into the chain one space, and into the top of the puff. And you're gonna do this all the way around until you reach the end of your round. So just keep on stitching, and I will meet you at the end of this round. Here I have reached the end of this round. I'm going to move my stitch marker. And beginning in that stitch that we just pulled the marker out of, you're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way around. So we're just gonna slip stitch in each stitch and this will help to give it that finished edge. So you'll just keep doing that all the way around until you've reached the end. And here I've reached the end of my round. I'm gonna go ahead and take that stitch marker out and pull this through so I can tie it off. And take your scissors, snip your yarn, and the slip stitches gives it that finished look. You can also tell that this is the front of it. And then here is the back. And you wanna make sure that you weave in these ends in the back so that way they're not quite as visible. And there we have it. There is your finished face scrubby.